Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Transactions link within the navigation bar is your portal to the transactions your company has created. From this link you can access banking, sales, expenses, and the chart of accounts. The banking link will open the bank and credit cards page. This page will display your credit card, bank balance, and any bank accounts you have set up in QuickBooks Online Plus. These items are contained in the top section of the page, which can be collapsed or expanded using the arrow on the right-hand side of the page. This section also contains two buttons also on the right-hand side of the page. The first is an Add Account button that will allow you to add bank or credit card accounts. To the left of this is a drop-down button with the options for File Upload, Manage Rules, and Order Checks. The File Upload button, when clicked, will open an Import Bank Transactions page. Here you can select a CSV, QFX, QBO, or OFX file to upload to QuickBooks Online Plus. Clicking the Browse button will open a file upload dialog box that will allow you to select the file that you wish to import. When you have selected your file, click the Next button to be taken to the next page where you will select a QuickBooks account for the bank file you want to upload. The name of the file you just selected will be shown under the bank file heading within this page. Use the QuickBooks Account drop-down box, which contains an Add New option and the list of your bank accounts and other current asset accounts, to add or select the account to which you would like to import the transactions from the file you selected. When you are ready to continue, click the Next button. If you need to change the file after this point, note that you can click the Back button to be taken to the previous screen so you can make the necessary changes. After clicking Next, you are taken to the For Each Bank Account field Select a QuickBooks field page. Here you must match the fields within the bank transaction file you selected to the fields within QuickBooks Online. If the transaction file you selected has a header row, which shows the names of the columns in the first row of the file, then check the first row in File Type File is a header row. Doing that will allow you to use the column names shown in the header row when you are matching the fields. The QuickBooks Online fields shown are date, description, and amount. For each row, use the drop-down boxes to select the name of the corresponding statement fields from your file. If the column names already match the names of the QuickBooks Online fields, they will be pre-selected. For the date field, also select the date format used to display the date data from the Select a Date Format drop-down box. Then select whether your transaction file shows positive and negative amounts within one or two columns by selecting either the One Column or Two Columns option button under the File Type Has Amount In section. Then click the Next button to continue. When you have clicked Next, you will be taken to the Select the Transactions to Import page. This page will list the transactions contained in your file. All of the transactions will be selected by default. You can leave them all selected or select only the transactions that you wish to import. When you have completed your selections, click the Next button to continue. A pop-up box will appear confirming the number of transactions you selected and asking if you would like to import them. If the information is correct, click Yes. Otherwise, click No to be taken back to the previous page. Clicking Yes will display a page telling you the import was successful. Click the Finish button at the bottom of the page to return to the Bank and Credit Cards page. After you have imported transactions, note that a Manage Rules option will be added to the File Upload drop-down button. Bank rules allow you to have a deeper level of control over how your transactions are customized in QuickBooks Online Plus. For example, you can set a payee name that, when recognized, will automatically categorize the transactions. Managing rules is covered in a later lesson in this chapter. The Bank and Credit Cards page will now display the transactions that you uploaded within a list. There are three tabs above this list. The first, New Transactions, will display the transactions you just uploaded. The In QuickBooks tab will display the transactions you have imported into QuickBooks. Finally, the Excluded tab will list any transactions you chose to exclude. On the same line, on the right-hand side of a page, is a Go to Register button. Clicking this button will open the register for the account you are working with. Depending upon which tab you have selected, the drop-down button for the Batch Actions will tell QuickBooks Online Plus what to do with any transactions that are selected within the tab. The Batch Actions button options, when on the New Transactions tab, are Accept Selected, Exclude Selected, and Modify Selected. 
Choosing Accept Selected will move the selected transactions to the In QuickBooks tab. The Exclude Selected option will move any selected transactions to the Excluded tab. The final option, Modify Selected, will open a pop-up box that will allow you to modify the payee and category. If you choose to do this, then after you have finished modifying the transactions, click the Apply button to be returned to the previous page. The Batch Actions button option when on the In QuickBooks tab is simply to undo. If selected, this will undo the placement of any selected transactions that appear within the In QuickBooks tab. The Batch Action button options when on the Excluded tab are Undo and Delete. If Undo is selected, this will undo the placement of the selected transactions within the Excluded tab. If Delete is selected, this will delete the selected transactions from the Excluded tab. On the right hand side of the screen are two icons. The first is the Print List icon, which will open a PDF version of the list in a new tab when clicked, and which also automatically opens your computer's printer dialog box. The second icon is a Settings Gear icon, which you can use to modify how the list within the currently selected tab appears on screen. The Display Options, when on the New Transactions tab, are Check Number and Payee under Columns, and Editable Date Field and Copy Bank Detail to Memo under the Transaction Details section. For all of the tabs, you can use the drop-down under the Row section to set the number of items shown per page within the tab. Finally, the Compact checkbox will allow you to view a compact version of the transaction list. The column headings within the New Transactions tab are Date, Description, Payee, Category or Match, Spent, Received, and Action. You can click on any heading from Date to Received to change the sort order. The columns within the In QuickBooks tab are Date, Description, Amount, Added or Matched, and Action. You can sort on any columns from Date to Amount. The columns within the Excluded tab are Date, Description, Amount, and Action. You can sort on any columns from Date to Amount. On the New Transactions tab, clicking any line item will open a menu that allows you to change transaction information. Selecting the Add button allows you to add information to the transaction. The first option is a Select Payee Optional drop-down button that lets you associate a customer, employee, or vendor as the payee for this transaction. The drop-down button to the right allows you to change the associated account for this transaction. If classes are enabled, you can use the Select Class Optional drop-down to choose a class for the transaction. If locations are enabled, then on the next line you can use the Select Location optional drop-down to select a location. To the right of that is a memo text box that lets you add a note about the transaction. At the right-hand side of the menu are two buttons, Split and Add. Clicking the Split button will open a pop-up menu that allows you to split the total transaction amount to multiple accounts in smaller amounts if needed. Clicking the Add button simply adds the transaction to the In QuickBooks tab. You can also click the X in the upper right corner of the menu to close it if needed. For unmatched transactions, clicking the Find Match button will open the Match Transactions page. Here you can search through transactions and try to match them as applicable. Any transactions that have a matching amount or date will be listed. You can also perform a search by name or by date. Selecting the Transfer button will open a menu that will allow you to select an account from which the transaction amount was transferred. There is a memo field where you can enter a note about the transfer. When finished, click the Transfer button to enter the transfer transaction into QuickBooks Online. Also note that depending on whether you select Add or Transfer within the menu for a transaction, the associated action column for the transaction will either show Add or Transfer. Clicking Add in the Action column will add the transaction to QuickBooks Online Plus and the transaction will move into the In QuickBooks tab. Clicking Transfer will add the account transfer transaction that you entered in the menu into the In QuickBooks tab. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.